the story we're following for you today and in just a matter of minutes at 7 o'clock here this morning, U.S. Airways and American Airlines will go before a congressional panel in Washington. A woman missing for days is now under arrest for her part in a murder cover-up in Mesa. A lot of people on both sides of this issue, understandably so, and one Arizona couple is in Washington right now making the case for marriage equality. 608 right now in a moving tribute to honor the first ever TSA agent killed in the line of duty. Gerardo Hernandez was gunned down last Friday at LAX. To Tempe now, where another ASU frat is under fire this morning, this time after a 17-year-old girl is burned at a party. Breaking news as we go on the air here at 559. Now we want to take you back to 77th Street right now in Roosevelt and Scottsdale, where a very precarious situation is underway with a rescue. Breaking news into the ABC 15 newsroom. Good morning, everyone. I'm Connie Cola. A huge announcement from the White House. The government will stop deporting illegal immigrants and give work permits to younger immigrants if they meet certain criteria. Yeah, everything. everything. So. Uh, just whatever the fire touched or burned. Tragedy in Yarnell. The country is mourning the loss of 19 firefighters killed while working that fast-moving fire right here in Arizona. Our team has been working through the night for you following this developing tragedy. And we have complete coverage here on air and online. You can count on us all day long as we continue to cover this. We begin now with the very latest as you wake up. This fire is burning in Yarnell, which is along State Route 89. That's just southwest of Prescott, about 85 miles northwest of Phoenix, the town made up of more than 600 residents. 6,000 acres have burned so far, and at least 250 structures, almost half the town has been destroyed, including buildings and homes. Now, this fire started Friday by lightning and it is zero percent contained as you wake up this morning. It is 12.08 right now. We have some breaking news into the ABC 15 newsroom. Good morning, everyone. We have a giant fire that has erupted right along I-10 and I-17 there, just north of the stack. You can see the massive flames and the dark plumes of smoke here. This thing's spreading very, very quickly, and fire crews are just arriving on the scene. It started about 10 minutes ago here and has grown fairly quickly. This is an industrial area of the city, if you're familiar with it. Some breaking news into the ABC 15 newsroom. We said that we were following closely the Jody Arias trial, and we are. Just seconds ago, the uh, jury has announced they do have a verdict in this case. We're down here, and the crowd is really starting to gather, everybody. It's really getting crowded. In fact, you can kind of see as you look up on the steps, we have a lot of people with their smartphones documenting this and taking pictures. Of course, the media has gathered here. And there isn't a person that's in one of these uh, office buildings here that's actually doing any work right now. They're all looking out the windows and watching. One step in what's going to happen next now basically is they have to go back with this first degree murder and they have to decide was this cruel did she do this in a cruel way did he suffer in all of this and so they will have to deliberate on that as well to determine whether this is going to be a life sentence or a death sentence for Jody Arias. An update this morning to breaking news we told you about last night at 10 o'clock. Chandler police tell us one of their officers was involved in a shooting, and this happened on Fry between Alma School and Dobson. An officer did shoot a suspect who fired at him. No officers were injured. We do know that. And we're still working to get a condition on that suspect. We'll share that information with you just as soon as it comes into our newsroom. Another breaking news update out of Tempe to share with you now. And all 22 floors of the West 6th Tower remain evacuated. A water main for forced people out of their homes for the night and into hotels. And at last check, nobody has been able to return. We're told a fire sprinkler pipe burst and the water came in contact with some of the building's electrical units. Staying in Tempe now, and new information on that Valley High School student who confessed to making a bomb at his home. Investigators say that they found three additional homemade bombs. But that's not all. They also found Tupperware filled with gunpowder in 16-year-old Joseph Prater's bad bedroom. The family's housekeeper originally tipped off police on Tuesday night. Prater is now out on bond, and he is back in court on May 15th. Welcome, everyone, to the 27th Annual APS Electric Light Parade. It is a beautiful but chilly evening. And, of course, checking out who's joining KEZ. That's Arizona Diamondbacks' own D. Baxter, the Bobcat. Baxter is the most friendly fan mascot in all of sports and certainly a D-backs fan favorite. And we know that Baxter loves to dominate every scene that he's in, <laughs> as we I can knew. see. Baxter, hey, Baxter, the we last were just talking you about you. you. Silly string Gus, you didn't. <laughs> hey, we know who's your favorite, Woo! Baxter. 
That yes. Was, that was fabulous. Oh my goodness. Wow, we have so many eggs. Awesome. Well, this is something that the other two don't have, which Whoa. is breakfast. You, you bet you get omelets there, several <laughs> omelets there. <laughs> Scrambled eggs. <laughs> time for another edition of Connie in the Kitchen, and this time I brought in the big guns. It's Benito Molino, who is a food and wine expert. Nice to see you. How are you, Connie? I'm good. I, uh, you know, the last time we saw you, uh, we went to Tuscany with a fabulous salad, and this time you're taking us to Sardinia with a Bravo. pasta. Forming that song that you just heard there, Brave, plus his hit February song. That's all coming up on GMA at 7 a.m. His music's always good driving music, too. Seems like it'd slow you down. <laughs> no, it's just kind of peaceful. You're driving along. Who's this lady who won't yeah. move over? Huh? Honk, honk. Move it, lady. What are you listening to, Josh, Josh Groban? <laughs> and apparently there's only a small trace of the compound found in the buns. The food additive is banned in Europe and Australia, but not here in the U.S. It's similar to the same thing you'd find in a yoga mat. <laughs> Hey, Seriously, if you put yeah. that barbecue sauce on the yoga mat, I bet it tastes good, too. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think? Maybe so. If you so. cut the yoga mat with a razor blade in the shape of a rib bone. You're not allowed to talk anymore. <laughs> Be quiet. Operation Santa Claus is all about giving back. And good morning, everybody. I'm Connie Cola. Today is a big day here at ABC 15, one we like to call Plazathon. And we hope you'll call into our phone bank. The volunteers are lending a helping hand. And you've got a miracle story in your hands there. <laughs> guys boy you know when you think of becoming a new parent there's so much responsibility and these lives are so fragile this is Charlie and Charlie is the sister of Tyler who's down here and this is mom Jen Jen come on down with me since this is where we're gonna be for a while we're in the baby zone now uh, Tyler has leukemia he's two years old and Jen has spent the last eight years here in the hospital actually as um, an oncology nurse so quite a surprise when you found out that your own son had leukemia arm wrestling tournament do you think oh, yeah that's what I thought you just pushed you lost did I with yeah, two you hands meant to, yeah well, okay. oh I went the other way didn't right. I? right oh I, I win <laughs> thanks <laughs> you can tell I play that a lot yeah, you're yeah. Supposed to. <laughs> beat myself okay. with two hands